guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I pack in the kids' carry-on cases for a long-haul flight. We're actually going on the longest flight we've ever been on with them. We're going from London to LA, so it is an 11 and a half hour flight with three children. They are eight, five, and two years old, so I have quite a few different things to show you. For cases, we are taking their scooter travel cases again. So you literally get a little luggage case on a scooter. We love using them because we don't actually have to carry them. The boys just scoot along and you can take them in the cabin. And then once we arrive in LA, they can use them as scooters while we're there as well. So we think they're great. And with our two year old, I'm gonna share a carry on case with him, which is just gonna be my handbag. But without further ado, I'll show you everything that we're taking. There are quite a few snacks and activities as well. So whenever I pack, I tend to lay everything out on a table or a bed so that I can make sure I have enough stuff and I can see everything before I put it into a bag. I'll start over here. I'm bringing Dettol wipes because these kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses and planes have so many germs on them. You may notice that sometimes you get off a plane and you get sick because the air on a plane is just circulating round and round so there's quite a few germs on there so as soon as I get on I'm gonna wipe down their trays I'm gonna wipe down their chair arms I'm gonna wipe everything in a bid to try and like clean the space a little bit so that's a massive tip and then I'm also bringing some hand sanitizer just because before they eat a meal or eat a snack I'm gonna just get them to, to use this because again I just I don't really want anyone to get sick in terms of toileting what I tend to do because my two-year-old is still in nappies I bring one nappy per hour of travel so I have about 12 here I believe then I'm also bringing a pack of eco unscented wipes a little tiny barrier cream for like nappy rash or diaper rash and also some little sachets of cowpaw. Rather than bring a big um, bottle of it, I'm actually just gonna bring these this time. I have about six and there's five mil in each. So I always bring cowpaw because you never know if they're gonna get a headache or if my baby's gonna teeth or just so many things. <laughs> and over here we have three piles, one for each boy. So I'll just talk you through. They're all pretty similar. They have loads of snacks and these are all treats that they wouldn't normally have it makes it that bit more exciting of course there's going to be meals on the flights because it is a very long flight but I'm also bringing lots of treats and snacks as well. So we have some popcorn, Doritos, onion rings. They love these little um, strawberry flakes in yogurt. Um, so I've got two packs of those. Also a little Barney Bear, a little Rice Krispie Square. This yogurt is great for travel because you don't need a spoon to eat it. You can just like, they'll just suck that right from the thing. And it's got no nasties in it. So my kids really like these. It's whole milk and fruit. Then also I've got some breakfast Velveeta biscuits. I've got Satsuma and an apple. I will also be making a sandwich for each boy on the day that we travel, but we're not going for a few days, so I'll make that fresh. And then I've got each of the boys a little like surprise egg. So Jackson has a PJ mask one, and then the other two have a kinder surprise egg as well. There's a few like different variations, like Fraser's a bit older. He likes these Nature Valley bars. He's also got a tiny thing of Haribo, um, and Caleb's pretty much got the same snacks as Jackson. I also have some mini lollipops for them to have during the descent in case their ears are feeling pressure. They can have that and it will hopefully help. And then I also wanted to show you that I'm actually putting their treats into a big Ziploc bag each and I have labeled it so they know whose snacks are who. And as soon as we get on, we can take this bag out of the carry-on, put it in the seat in front of them and they will have snacks to hand so that we don't have to keep going up to the top shelf like to get their bag out and all of that stuff and I'm going to limit it to a snack an hour in terms of the treats um, but obviously if they don't eat one for a couple of hours because they're sleeping then they can have more but I am going to try and limit them so that they, it lasts for the whole 11 hours. I've also got them each a little like drinking bottle. We will take them empty and then fill them up on the flight. And I've put their initial on each one. So we have Jackson, Caleb and Fraser. These are quite small, but I thought that that was actually quite a good thing because they can go into the seat pocket in front of them. So when we get on, we can fill it and they can have it right there if they get thirsty. 
I'm also bringing this concentrated travel squash from Robinson's. It is 0% sugar and it's great because we can fill up their cups with just water, put a splash of this into it and it turns into juice and we will also use this abroad. Because it's a long haul flight, there will be in-flight entertainment on the plane so each person will have a little screen to watch and I'm sure there will be films that they want to watch. There's a whole like children's selection of movies but just in case, we have loaded up the iPad with like Umizoomi, um, Sing, Trolls, Zootropolis, like their favorite movies. So they can watch this. And although we only have one iPad, Matt and I also have our phones with us. So if they each needed something, we would actually have it. And the um, movies and things that are available on the iPad are also available on our phones because we have like a family sharing thing. Each child also has a pair pair of headphones so that they can listen to their movies. Planes are really noisy places so it's good to have these. I think they might even give them out on board but just in case they don't like them we have room to bring these ones. To entertain our two-year-olds I have a few things here. First thing is I've got some twist up crayons which are great for traveling with. They're much better than traveling with pens that could get everywhere. So I've got the crayons and then I have a Peppa Pig magazine which comes with a surprise bag on it and inside there are things that you can color. There are also stories that I can read to him and stickers as well. So there's so much going on inside this that I'm thinking that will keep him quite entertained. And then I'm also bringing his water magic books. These are great. You get a pen and you fill it up with water and then when he rubs the pen over these images, all the color shows and they also dry out really quickly and he can do it over and over again. And then I'm also bringing just two little Mr. Men books because they're so thin and perfect for travel. So I've got Mr. Skinny and Mr. Jelly so I can read him a story if he wants to. And then for my five year old I have got this ultimate sticker collection from Lego. This looks really good because you get the stickers and then there are some activities where you have to match up where they go. So we've got that and then I know that he'll also really enjoy playing Uno with his older brother. This is like their favorite card game. I can't recommend it enough for when you travel. So they will probably play that quite a lot. I also got each boy a little Masham surprise so they can open that up and see which one they've got. The two older boys have have Marvel and then my toddler has a Peppa Pig one so I think they'll really like them that should keep them entertained for a little while and then for my eldest obviously he's eight so he's really into doing crosswords so we have a crossword book I also have a little Horrid Henry um, novel he really likes the Horrid Henry books and then also a word search which is Spurs which is the football team that he supports and then I've also got him a little pack of match attacks which are the football cards that he collects and then finally I have a a pair of pajamas for each child because it is such a long flight and it is overnight. If they're struggling to sleep, I think if I try and do the whole like bedtime routine, like change them into pajamas, wash their face, brush their teeth, um, that might actually help them sort of like feel like it's nighttime. And I tried to choose pajamas that could maybe pass for like joggers or an outfit when we get off, just in case they're still wearing their pajamas when we get off the flight. Hopefully they won't look too strange. So Fraser's got these um, Minecraft ones and then the boys just have ones from next. Right, so that is everything that I'm putting in the kids' carry-on cases this time. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you think I'm forgetting anything, because I definitely feel like I am. Um, but yeah, wish me luck, because I'm gonna need it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.